listen to this. I'm driving on Mulholland when my car breaks down. Again. So I pull over, and guess who I see beside the road selling flowers? Ooh! 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 I know! I know! Dorfman, it was you. Dorfman, don't you know that the kids who do that are, like, owned by religious fanatics? Do you want to be part of some weirdo cult? Like a normal cult would take him. Hey, guys. Ricky, I need a new car. Brody, I need a castle in Spain. <laughs> Everyone listen for reindeer hooves. I mean it. My car is history. And you think I can just buy you a new car? Yes, Mom and Dad left us money. Brody, that's for big stuff. Okay, I'll get a Lexus. <laughs> Sorry, but if you want extra money, you are just going to have Don't to get... Don't say it! ...a job! <laughs> It's no problem, Brody. We can always use a good man down at my firm. Selling roses for a buck? What kind of money is there in that? It's hard to say. I'll ask my accountant. <laughs> redhead who lived in this home used to drive her Cuban band leader husband crazy. Anyone know who that is? No? Uh, try this. Lucy, I'm home. Uh, Tare Brown? <laughs> no? Lucille Ball. Anyone watch I Love Lucy? Anyone watch TV? Can anyone spell TV? Uh-oh. Can you believe this? No one speaks English. What's your name? Oh, great. You don't speak English either. Well, my name is... Luke Perry. <laughs> this is nuts. Uh, so what TV shows do you watch back home? MacGyver? Dynasty? 30-something? Uh, 30-something. 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 <laughs> oh, 30-something. What a coincidence, because Michael and Hope live right there. <laughs> oh, oh, excusez-moi. Où est Jerry Lewis? Uh, right there. Yeah. And next to him is Madonna. Oh, stop. Stop the van, please. <laughs> what? What? Jerry Lewis. Uh, wait, no. Get back in. <laughs> Madonna. <laughs> oh, God, it's a coup. Uh, uh. Wait! Get back in van! I in big trouble! Why am I talking like this? <laughs> Fine, stay here. But my next stop is Florence Henderson's house. Oh, oh, oh! Florence! <laughs> Can you believe the things that I... Uh-oh. Hello. This is not good. Uh, did anyone see where she went? The girl. Does anyone know her? Can anyone help me find this girl? Oh. <laughs> Thanks, that helped. I can't find my mug. What mug? My mug. The one I use when I'm here. The blue one? Yes. With a duck on it? Yeah, have you seen it? Yes. My mug. Uh, Sophie, can I have it back? I'm using it. But I always use it. It's my favorite. Please? Danielle, what's the big deal? Get another mug. Let her get another mug. I can't believe you're being so compulsive about this. Well, I am. It's because I come from a broken home. <laughs> My mom and dad used to fight all the time. So it was like I always thought what I really cared about would be just taken away. Then my daddy left, and he never came back. And used one of his mugs. <laughs> I don't want to buy a flower. I don't want to support some cult. It's not a cult. It's for a good cause, Rick. What cause? I don't know. Our leaders won't tell us. 
Dorfman, how can you let these people suck out your brain when you have so little to spare? Ah, uh, Beth. He who has no bread has the least need for butter. Maybe our Earth's atmosphere is too thin for his blood. Hey, guys. Rhodey. I'm so glad you're home. There's something I've been waiting to ask you. Does Eric Estrada do his own gardening or does he have a service? Oh, my couture. So, how was day one as a taxpayer? Uh, not bad. I lost a girl. What's for dinner? Macaroni and cheese. Who'd you lose? Oh, I don't know. Some girl. And she was really pretty. Now, that's a shame. If we can't keep track of our pretty girls, we'll just have to tag their ears. <laughs> Rory, how do you lose an entire person? It's not like a contact lens. I mean, she's not buried in a shag carpet somewhere. Or is she? It was my first tour, and right next to me was this girl, who I think was a foreigner. Why do you think that? She wouldn't talk to me. That would make every girl you know a foreigner. The whole tour was foreigners, okay? And one minute this girl was there, and then I stopped, and she was gone. So did you report it? No. We only have to report emergencies. You lost a girl. Don't be so hard on him. How about a little credit for all the other people he didn't lose? Dorfman. A return trip is part of the understanding. Unless he's got SS Minnow on the side of his van. God, you're making this like it's my fault. It was your idea for me to get a job. I was perfectly happy doing nothing. And quite good at it, I might add. Brody, I'm happy you got a job. I've got a job, too. I go to the emergency room every day, and I've never lost anyone. Well, when I lose them, I know where they are. <laughs> Look, that girl was your responsibility. God, you're right, Rick. She was my responsibility. Guess that explains why I've had the stomach ache all day. I've got to go find her. Dorfman, you want to go for a ride? Nah, I'm pretty comfortable. You can hang your head out the window like a dog. I'm in. <laughs> Who lives in that house? You're not on a tour, Dorfman. Keep your eye out for the girl. Okay. Who lives in that house? <laughs> Cher does. No way. Yes, Dorfman, Cher actually lives in that house. Say it like you would. <laughs> On your right is the home of Chastity's mom. Anyone know who I mean? Cher! That's right. Oh, no way! You ever see her? Are those tattoos real? Is she gonna get back together with Sonny? Does Peter Falk really have a glass eye? Why are you stopping the van? I think you should search on foot. Want me to get out? We'll cover more ground that way. Beginning to see how you might have lost somebody. Look, Sophie, I washed your ducky mug for you. Sorry I was such a jerk. You can use it any time. This isn't it. It is so. See, it has the duck on it and everything. Let me see it. Why? Just let me see it. <laughs> Danielle, you painted a duck on this mug. Is it not? It doesn't even look like a duck. It looks like a pancreas. <laughs> so? It's a hand-painted original. It's even better. Then you use it. I don't want to use it. It's not the same. It hurts my wrist. See? Now my wrist hurts. <laughs> I think I heard Brody drive up. Did you find the girl? Found her. Where was she? Sleeping in Dom DeLuise's gazebo. <laughs> of course. So, what was her story? Turns out she wasn't foreign at all. She was homeless. Did you find her a place to stay? Oh, sure. We just couldn't abandon her. Did you find her a nice place? My opinion? Yes. You're gonna love living here. There's no rules and everything's free. <laughs> Poor thing. Looks like she hasn't eaten in a week. Yeah, now we won't. Shh. Have some compassion. What's the big deal about compassion? It's all give, give, give. Where's the payoff? Melissa, you're at like the worst possible age, aren't you? I guess we'll see. So, uh, how come you were on my tour bus anyway? It was air conditioned. Then how come you got off? You were asking too many questions. Got it. Listen, um, I found these extra jeans and things if you 
I mean, I never wear them. I mean, they're good. I, I'm just not attached to them. In fact, I hate these clothes. I was going to burn them. I'll so. take them. Oh, good. <laughs> this is uh, kind of weird for me. I've never actually met a real homeless person before. Oh, we're just like everyone else. We put on other people's pants one leg at a time. <laughs> oh, I love this. Red's my favorite color. I, I, I mean, I see homeless people all the time, but I don't talk to them or anything. I just kind of panic and wonder, should I give a quarter, should I give a dollar? Dollar. That was easy. Even then, you can't make money on the street. Not in L.A., nobody walks here. So you gotta hit the intersection where everybody's trapped in their cars. Unless there's a green light. And then, I mean, green light, plow, they plow through like you're not even there. That's why my favorite color's red. Listen, you eat all you want, and tomorrow I'll show you around the town. Oh, wait, I've got school and then track practice. Uh, maybe Tuesday, Wednesday the latest. Ooh, Wednesday's no good for me. <laughs> Brody, can I talk to you? So, is she staying here now? No, I'm afraid not. Well, why not? Brody, we can't keep her. She's not ours. She's obviously a runaway. We can't hide a runaway. Well, we can't just dump her in the street. I thought you wanted me to take personal responsibility. Of course I want you to take personal responsibility, but you don't have to do it yourself. <laughs> well, there are people who do this kind of thing. There are even programs, great programs, that, that put teenagers into homes where they feel loved and accepted. Really? How can I qualify? Thanks, Ricky. Lydia will be so happy you're putting her into a great program. What? We're not just going to abandon her. We'll give her more clothes and food and this blanket. <laughs> and and some, some comics. <laughs> Breath mints. <laughs> Lent. Good news, Ricky. You're off the hook. Lydia just took off. Hey, Ricky. Yeah? I'll take the Lent. Hey, are we okay about what happened? I am. Forget it, it's cool. Night. Okay, night. Lydia. Sorry to keep you out on the roof. I wanted to make sure Ricky was in bed before you came in. Oh, it wasn't a total loss. I found a frisbee and watched a neighbor undress. <laughs> Jeez, you find the guys who did this? Hey, hey, what are you doing? You should keep your house nice. When I have a house, I'm keeping it so clean. I'm going to have the white carpet so you have to take your shoes off. I'm going to have the little soaps in the bathroom. And I'm going to have the little fruit magnets on the refrigerator. And a refrigerator. <laughs> yeah. Are you sure it's all right that I'm here? Sure. Hey, this is my room. I can do anything I want in here, and I don't have to answer to anyone. Hide. Uh, Brody, I can tell you're still mad at me, and I just want you to know that... What are you doing? Me? Cleaning my room. Cleaning your room? Are you feeling all right? I'm feeling good. I'm not mad. Go to bed. Sleep well. Okay. Good night. Good night. Pooh Bear misses you. Yeah, well, he had his chance. Listen, it's cool you're trying to help me out and all, but if you're afraid of your sister getting mad... Afraid? Right? Of Ricky? Hey, I said I'd take care of you, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I don't care what she says. Brody? Hide. Uh. <laughs> Brody, can we please talk about this? I mean, we've always had a very open relationship, right? Still do. I can't stop thinking about Lydia. Out there, no bed to sleep in. Uh, whatever. Maybe I did want the problem to go away, but I... <laughs> Brody, what's wrong with you? It's my back. It's sort of a lower, upper, middle back thing. Ow! Ow! I feel good! <laughs> Brody. What? Get up. Can't. Why not? Sleepy. <laughs> Ricky, it's not what you think. 
No, bro, I don't want you to lie for me. The truth is, we're in love. No, we're not. I want to have his baby. Really? Buddy, what were you thinking? I didn't want to lie to you, but we can't send her to a shelter. All they'll do is keep her there a day and then send her home. I know, that sucks. I'm sorry, but what are you going to do? I don't know. Try? Maybe you've written her off, but I'd like to think I can still help. So would I. Okay. Good night. On the couch. <laughs> Give me the cup. No. Give me the cup. No. I can wait. Good. <laughs> Give me the cup. You guys should have seen Beth. She was like Rambo or something, coming to save me. Really, Beth? You saved Dorfman from that cult? It's not a cult. We prefer to be called a service organization. <laughs> it's nice to have a home-cooked meal. Oh, yeah? Do you eat out often? Oh, of course you do. <laughs> Lydia, I have good news. I called the runaway hotline about you. You called the hotline? Yes, and they put me in touch with the cops in you your home. You called the cops? Com right, and they knew how to reach your father. You called my father? Stop me when I get to the good news. <laughs> I can't believe you called my father. So the cops are on their way, then? No, no, I, I didn't tell anyone you were here. But Lydia, your dad seemed kind of anxious to hear from you. Why don't you call? You can always hang up. What'll it hurt? It's the weekend. The rates are cheap. <laughs> Hi, Dad. It's me. L.A.? No, I'm fine. Yes, I'm eating. It's okay, it's a little starchy. <laughs> you do? Well, yeah, I miss you too. Well, I'm sorry for how things turned out. And I just wish they could be like they were before. I'd like that. Okay, I will. I love you too. He uh, said he missed me too. We're... He's taking the first flight out of Dallas. We're going to talk at the airport. So thanks for clothes and everything. Here, you can have my mug. <gasps> no. <laughs> no, it's not okay. It is. It's fine. I'm gonna go get my stuff. Can you believe that? So what happened? Sophie gave away my cup. <laughs> Besides that, I got Lydia to call her father. I'm really proud of you, Brody. Let me guess. You peed in the big potty again? <laughs> Even better. Lydia called her dad. We're gonna take her to the airport to meet him. Amazing, huh? Little. What are you doing? Hitting weed dial? Hello, and welcome to the movie hotline. In theater one, Dracula. In th Wait a minute, that's her father? That guy's famous. <laughs> Dorfman, she never called her father. I'm gonna go find out what's going on. Brody, she's not there. I thought something was up when I saw her climbing out the window. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm taking the van to go and find her. All right, you can show me where Howie Mandel lives. <laughs> Alone, Dorfman. A great man like Howie should not have to live alone. Hi. 
You gonna sit out here in the driveway forever? No. One day California will slide into the ocean. No luck finding her, huh? Nah. Who cares? Hey, did I ever tell you the story about the German Shepherd puppy Dad got me? Oh. How the first day? Ricky, you told me. Oh. Then how about the story of my senior prom, Frank Mazio? Told me that one, too. How about the story of the Pilgrim's first Thanksgiving? Rick, it's okay. I've already had my life lesson for the day. Which is? Helping doesn't help. Brody. I cared. I took responsibility. And it's like, what's the point? It didn't change a thing. Are you kidding? You're so wrong. Brody, because of you, one lonely girl out there knows someone cares about her. See this light? That's you. I'm a dim bulb. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're just one light, but add your light to all the other lights and eventually the world is a brighter place. Of course, you can't start your car in the morning. <laughs> That's why people carry jumper cables. Rick, it was really touching up until that cables part. <laughs> I saved you some dinner. You want some? Sure. I'll be in in a minute. It's going to be a cool 34 degrees here in San Francisco today. So think warm thoughts. Want a heater on that? 49 million patriots, 15 to 6 yesterday. Welcome to the state of the county. Charles Barkley, Phoenix. 